morning, my friends. I'm so happy to see you today. Today is gardening and we have some super fun things to do. But first of all, let me remind you, remind mommies and daddies, if you have not yet pressed that big red subscribe button, go ahead and do it. If you're loving this and you're enjoying it, please, please, please subscribe. Help me to help you. Thank you so much. Get your sons ready. Let's go. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit at circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance him on your shoulders, dance him on your head. Dance him on your knees and tuck him into bed. Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Yo estoy bien y tú también. Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Good morning, how are you? How are you? Good morning, how are you? How are you? Me, I'm fine and you are too. Good morning, how are you? How are you? But what day is this morning today? Hmm, let's take a look at the calendar. So it's gardening day and if yesterday was Wednesday, tomorrow will be Friday. It means today is... Yes, today is... Thursday! Today is Thursday, but hmm, what is the date today? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen! Today is Thursday, June 18th. Hoy es el jueves, el día 8 de junio. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Los días de la semana son siete, days son siete. Los días de la semana son siete, days son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Sábado, domingo son siete, days son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles. Viernes, sábado, domingo, sunny, 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 is it sunny in the sky? S-U-N-N-Y is sunny, is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 is it cloudy in the sky? C-L-O-U-D-Y, cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R-A-I-N-Y is rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, 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 windy. Is it windy in the sky? W-I-N-D-Y, windy. Is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 is it snowy in the sky? S-N-O-W-Y is snowy, is it snowy in the sky? My friends, what 
is the weather like with you today? Oh, well, here with me in Charleston, it's actually cloudy today. So I'm going to sing about the clouds, but if the weather is different with you, you sing about the weather with you, we will meet at the end of the song. Ready? I know a day just like today, and cloudy was the weather. C L O U D Y C L O U D Y C L O U D Y and cloudy was the weather. Today is gardening and I'm so excited. Let's take a look at what we are doing today. So today we are going on a t -t treasure hunt for gardening. Now technically we're not going to do our treasure hunt in the garden. I know that I'm preparing something because later today we are going to go to the beach for the first time in a long time. It's not super sunny, it's very um, cool, but it's dry and I thought it would be really nice to go down there. So I'm going to prepare our bag as if we're going to the beach, but you can prepare your bag for your treasure hunt for whether you're going outside in the garden, going for a walk or just going around your house. That's the great thing about it. And all you need, let's have a look at the tray, all you need is some kind of bag. Now, I had these left over from years ago. Um, I don't even know where I got them from, actually. They're little, uh, little bags with cupcakes on them, little baggies with cupcakes on them. I think they might have been given to me. And I am going to use this for my treasure hunt. I have a piece of paper at the side. You'll see why in a moment. But if you guys actually have paper bags, they work the best. As big and as small as you want them to because you can draw directly onto the paper bag and some kind of marker or some kind of pen. And um, mommy and daddy might have to help with this or if you, you're an older brother and sister, you can do it. You can help your younger brothers and sisters or you can do it by yourself and just decide what you're going to collect. So basically, we're going to decide what we find on our treasure hunt before we go on it. That's the exciting thing about it. So I'm going to take my piece of paper the reason I have paper is I can't draw directly onto the plastic bag, so I need something to draw on. And I'm thinking about where I'm going to be. So I'm going to the beach. And at the beach, there's always hmm, shells. So I am going to draw a shell. I'm going to draw a shell. A shell, because I would like to collect a shell. Hmm, my shell looks a little bit like a leaf. That's okay. My drawing of a shell. Shell. What else is there at the beach I might find? Sticks or seaweed. Sticks and seaweed. Hmm, I'm going to draw some sort of plant. I'm going to look for a plant. Now, do you know what else? On our way down to the beach, I always see flowers. I'm going to draw a flower. Hmm, rocks. Ooh, these are things you might find out in the garden too. So maybe you could go draw rocks on the one if you're going out in the garden or going for a walk or even in your house because you might collect them on your nature tray. Do you know what else? I'm gonna do a surprise box. <gasps> surprise box. The surprise box I am going to fill in. So I'm going to look for all of these objects on the beach and then in the final surprise box, I'm going to find something that I didn't even think about. Oh, I can't wait to see what it'll be. Okay, I am then going to stick this onto my bag just with tape or with glue, or you can actually put it inside of your bag. And this is your baggie ready for your treasure hunt. Oh, I'm so excited to see. Will you join me at the beach for a little bit? Oh, let's take a look at what we find at the beach. Hello everyone. You might notice a change of scenery today and a little bit of wind, el viento. We came down to the beach to go on our treasure hunt. We had our bag and we knew that we weren't going to be in the garden today. So I drew some little shells and some flowers. We found a flower on the way down. Actually, it's in the bag. And now we're going to go and hunt for the rest of the things. I'm so excited. We are going on a treasure hunt and we have found a flower to go in our bag. I found a flower. There are lots of shells here, so we just have to pick a few. We have one on our bag. Let's have a look. Oh, they're kind of the round ones. Here we go. 
first one. I'm going to choose this one and put this in my bag. Yay. Do you remember we left a box here when we were making our bags for a mystery object? A mystery object that we might find on the beach that we could draw here. Oh, excuse me, it's windy right here. Well, look what we just found. It's the shell of a crab. It's the skeleton of a crab. It's really cool. It's so delicate. So I think because there's no um, meat left in there, sometimes it can be a bit smelly if there's meat in there, but because there's no meat, left of the crab meat we are going to put this and draw it in the box and put it in our bag how exciting did you see all of the exciting stuff we found at the beach i'm so happy that you could join us for that let's take a look now my bag got a bit crumpled our bag on the way back the label's falling off a bit but that's okay let's open the bag and see those things we found at the beach Rock. Flower. Do you remember our very, very, very surprising surprise for our surprise box? We found a crab shell. Crab shell. I had so much fun on our treasure hunt today. I hope you did too. If you're not a member already of the Facebook group, have a look in the description. Please join it if you have a Facebook. I would love to see your finds from your treasure hunt today. Because we have been at the beach and we were talking a little bit about the ocean, I would like to finish off with a song we have sung before and it's called Five Little Fishies, but it's all about them t -t -t teasing a shark. Are you ready? Five little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And snap! Now there were four little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap! Now there were three little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap! Now there were two little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And snap! Now there was one little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap! Now there were no little fishies swimming in the sea. Because the shark ate them all. For our pranayama today, let's pretend we're a little fish swimming away from a shark. So we're going to breathe in and swim away. Ready? Shoulders up and down in your back pockets. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me on a super exciting gardening beach treasure hunt today. Don't forget to join us tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very special day, actually. Tomorrow, we're going to celebrate the sun solstice, but we are also celebrating Father's Day. We're going to make a little treat for Father's Day. Shh. If you have not already, my mommies and daddies and grandmas and grandpas and nannies and you, Press that subscribe button. All you need is an email address. Help me to help you. I love doing this for you guys. Goodbye.